What's up guys, it is T-Ball and I'm back with another video. So today we're going to be going over why Derrick Rose is smart to retire from the NBA. So before I start, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more NBA videos as I'll be putting out some great content throughout the rest of the season and also turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So news that Derrick Rose is evaluating his future in basketball and is away from the Cavs came out today. It is an excused absence unlike the one last season with the Knicks. Rose is also dealing with an ankle injury and we all know how many injuries he's had throughout his career from injuries with his meniscus and his ACL. It's been pretty rough for Rose. All of these injuries have taken a toll on Rose mentally and physically so I can definitely see why Rose is definitely considering to retire from the NBA. After being a top player in the league, injuries derailed his promising career and currently he's a shell of his former self. However, he's still been serviceable for the Cavs when he has played and he's been a solid fill-in starting point guard as Isaiah Thomas is currently injured and is expected to come back around January or February during the All-Star break. However, Rose has not avoided the injury bug with the Cavs as he suffered quite a bit of ankle injuries and he's currently dealing with one right now. But overall, it makes sense and is generally pretty smart for Rose to retire right now. He's 29 years old and he still has a life ahead of him. He has made over $100 million in his NBA career and he also has made a ton of money off of his deal with Adidas and he also has his son to take care of so he definitely has a lot on his plate besides basketball and if he retires from the NBA he would have a lot more time to spend on other things and mainly taking care of his son. So honestly if I were in his situation with all the injuries that Rose has had in his career and the ones he's dealing with now I definitely would probably retire and I honestly would have retired sooner considering all the ACL and meniscus injuries he's had after the first or second honestly I would have been done but Rose has really stuck through it he's gone through a lot of surgeries and a lot of rehab and he's been very mentally strong in getting through all these injuries so you know if Rose retires now it will be disappointing as I love to watch Rose play but I definitely understand and I definitely think it's the right thing to do for Rose at this point of his career so how does this affect the Cavs? Well, the Cavs should definitely find a point guard fast. Thomas is still a month or two away from returning as he's still dealing with his injuries. And starting Calderon at the point guard position will not help the Cavs win. It will definitely give them a lot more losses, if anything. And I definitely don't think the Cavs should play LeBron at point guard as much as they are right now as LeBron is definitely getting a lot of minutes. And I think he's averaging around 36 to 38 this season, but double check me on that. And I definitely think LeBron should be playing a lot of minutes in the playoffs and not during the regular season. As the regular season is 82 games and LeBron playing 36 to 38 minutes on top of the a ton of minutes he played throughout his career is definitely going to take a toll on his body. And he's already, I want to say, 33 years old. So he's definitely getting up there in age. And I definitely think if LeBron wants to keep playing until, say, around 37, 38 years old, he definitely needs to cut down the minutes and cut down the offensive responsibility he's had. And the Cavs also signed other guys to help him on offense like Jeff Green and Dwayne Wade this past offseason, but both guys have been kind of disappointments so far this regular season. Jeff Green wasn't expected to do too much, but Dwayne Wade was. And Wade is currently coming off the bench where he's averaging around 9 points and 4 assists per game. And the Cavs are definitely going to need a lot more from him if the Cavs are not going to have Rose anymore this season. And especially during the next two months where they don't have Isaiah Thomas either. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching this quick little video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on Derrick Rose possibly retiring from the NBA. I definitely read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So yeah, that's a wrap as I said before. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. So once again, thanks for watching and hope you guys all have a great one. Peace.